diaries. I've just come from an early kickoff in the combined counties. It was 12.30 between Nat Hill and Jersey. And Jersey have come out 2-0 winners, which is quite good for us, to be honest. It cuts um, cuts away Nat Hill's uh, potential lead if they manage to get three points, which is good. It makes our playoff picture a bit more interesting. Um, but we've got a job to do today at Collier's Wood away. Um, I'm not sure. I think last time we were here was sort of early in the season, last season, and um, they were top of the league. How times have changed. We come to the today and their bottom uh, but we're doing something a bit different we're biking up both the physios we're biking up Nate and biking up uh, Givo for this vlog uh, so I just wanted to change something uh, about today's vlog so see what it's like to be a part of the team today from the dugout but in a different way so uh, our head of fitness and conditioning and also uh, Nate for physio mic'd up see what they have to say and um, yeah get into it hopefully another three points and um, extend on a, a clearance on a second time. That looks nice, Max. Mm. Now this. What is it? A little pasture number, mate. Pasture number. It's all right, that. You're a pasta lover? Yeah, a little, it is, it little tomato bacon sauce. Oh. Yeah, a bit of pepper in there. Tomato, mate. Does a job. Mm. Nan you made it. that much for, for four I haven't yeah. done it. I haven't yeah. eaten this morning. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. busy morning, mate. My nan made this for me like nine years ago before a game once, so and now it's like a little routine, so I've got to have it every week. Nice. Yeah, so here today at Collier's Wood. Yeah, well, I think we're actually in Wimbledon. I think Collier's Wood's down there. But um, yeah, we should make it for kickoff. Um, yeah, we're here today. Uh, very wet. <laughs> We weren't expecting it to be this way. I think we're like a, we're a downpour away from it being cooled off. So hopefully it, it stays clear. It's an always tricky place to go. It's not particularly, you know, we're right on the, the dual carriageway. It's quite open. Um, yeah, t tough place to play. Always, always, it's always been a tough place, regarding of the, the you know, the, the league table and stuff. Coming here, they're all, they're always put out a, a strong side. I think they'd be they'd be very quick today and look to uh, look to hit us on the on the counter attack. And we got to, you know, we got to be aware of that. Uh, but I'd like to see us. <clears throat> Obviously, the game in the game in the week. I thought we were excellent first half, but second half um, we needed to look after the ball. We need to dictate the game a little bit more, look after it, be a little bit more patient. I thought it was a bit erratic second half, which was a little bit disappointing. But today, I'm looking the, for the boys to sort of yeah, just look after the ball and be just be patient and dictate dictate the play. Yeah, no Daz, no Brandon from Tuesday. Obviously, Brandon uh, pulled his hamstring, um, and then Daz, Daz obviously with his knee. Um, still feeling a little bit sore, so hopefully we go in for a scan early next week just to double check. There's nothing, no major problems there. Yeah, no, it gives um, more on the fitness side and like the nutrition side, um, but he knows his stuff. Um, so yeah, he, he looks after the boys that way, um, and Nate obviously does the rubs and he's the physio. Myself and Jono, having someone like Givo that we've never had, we've not been fortunate enough to have before, I think he's just took the boys to another level, brought that little bit of professionalism into to the football club. Uh, the boys go to him a lot in terms of rehab, you know, conditioning, diet, um, and he's just an all-round, again, another great lad. Doesn't get too involved with myself and Jono, but always there if you need him. And I think he's been vital to our success this year as well. Them sort of guys, we've got, we're so lucky with sort of Paul Barry as well. We've got such a good management team that we all get on and we're all sort of pushing in the right direction. There's no egos. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just good to have them around. Yeah, massive, massive. You know, Nate's been with the club for years anyway and gets on uh, brilliant with the boys and he's there to cater for all their needs. And uh, yeah, Givo, I think, you know, we look at the side we put together, but I think he's, he's mostly been our best signing. Um, for, for me and Jim, I think he's been a breath of fresh air, um, what he brings to it. And uh, again, another one the boys are taking to him straight away and I uh, love what he does. And it's been a big, uh, big factor in what we're doing. Oh, massively. I think just not, not, not just with the physio side. If you see Nathan, we, we had a little joke the other day, but he's always got his hands full. He does, he does all the stuff around the football club that, that gets overlooked. I'll be put completely honest. Since we come in, since we come in sort of last year, he's been, he's just an all round top guy. Um, one of them unsung heroes, really. I think that he gets overlooked a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, absolutely vital. Them sort of people are absolutely vital for this football club. Um, but and, and on the flip side, doing looking after the boys, yeah, terrific. Does the rubs, never never complains. Just comes here, does his job, and does way more than I think he should. But um, he loves the football club, and having people around you like that is uh, is great. It just helps out. It's a, it just helps our job massively. Fifth season, yeah, it's amazing. Really, it's gone so quickly. Um, 
I came here under Luke Turkington, Lee Pollard and Andy Sharrett. Um, and those first two seasons were very good, but of course they were COVID seasons. So um, they were very stop start, especially the second season. Match day ritual war. Um, it kind of starts probably the day before if, and on the away game if I'm picking the kit up. So I actually work this morning, so I work on the golf course. So um, I was in work this morning about six o'clock, finished about nine. So it's so an away game. I tend to bring Max if he wants to jump in. I bought Jono today as a taxi service. But yeah, just, just load up, just make sure I get everything. Um, at the moment, we've got a load of strapping and ibuprofen, so um, it's a bit interesting at the moment. Well, I like to get to a match a couple of hours before set up, and then the boys come and start seeing me for rubs. Um, usual ones, Max, Ryan, Daz when he's fit. Um, I've seen Joe, JD, so Flatty comes sometimes. So yeah, so I'm, I, I tend to be busy at, at, at the start of the match. I tend to be busy at the start of match day from, from one o'clock onwards, and then um, yeah, Less so now, um, I let the other boys take over. And then at the end, I have to carry everything back, don't I? <laughs> Pre-match ritual, yeah. what we do, yeah, cool. So I like to arrive nice and early. Um, I like to get in the change rooms when the players aren't there. So sort of the first stage is to set up our nutrition. So we have like a pre-game, during game and post-game nutrition strategy, um, which is all supplied very nicely by soccer supplements. So. Um, we get all the pre-match caffeines and gels and stuff ready. Um, then we come out and set up our pre-match warm-up section, if you like. Um, so we do the ramp philosophy as far as warm-up procedures are concerned. Um, so we do sort of movement, sort of light, um, heart rate raising type exercises. Then we'll go into activation, dynamic stretch, a uh, little bit of landing and loading, a little bit of plyo stuff, and then we'll finish with building up to sort of match day speed set. Um, so we'll get the players sort of sprinting over 10, 15, 20 yards um, with various ballistic movements involved to try and match the intensity of pre-game. Then I'll just basically speak to any of the players one-to-one -one that need any sort of individual help or any advice or any um, little bits and bobs, you know, that players always tend to want pre-game. You know, if they start to feel tight on the warm-up, any issues, um, we try and get them loosened up and ready for, for match day and then for the start of the match and then whatever happens during the match. We can have other very busy days or very quiet days, normally quite busy. Yeah, so if there's an injury, so it depends first on the nature of the injury. If, the, if there's nothing we can do, then there's nothing we can do. Um, but obviously I'll support Nath once we've diagnosed that injury, we'll either seek further help, so we'll go to an expert and, and make sure um, that we get a really good diagnosis with a really good injury sort of rehab protocol so that we can um, hit the protocol that we're after. Um, or I'll just speak to the, the individual and go through the process of elimination as to trying to work out the nature of the injury, the severity of the injury, um, obviously do visual checks, look at pain thresholds, and then we'll try and decipher where we go from there, basically. I'm a cog in a whole kind of engine. Myself and Givo are on that side. We're on the, on the kind of um, you know, therapy side and, and, the, and, and the physio side and, and the, the fitness and the side. So, you know, it's, it's different to what John Owen and, and Jimmy do, although they're, they're very knowledgeable about it. So, yeah, and, and some players, it's just, it's just kind of their, their routine. They like a rub, you know, before a game. I think it helps relax them. Max, obviously, is coming back from injury. So I think it's three weeks. So, yeah, I think psychologically, they want to feel as loose as possible. They want to have, you know, every kind of, precaution and preparation going into the match so that they're, um, um, they, they feel mentally ready. Yeah, so Max basically um, suffers from inherently tight and inactive hamstrings um, and so they do fail and fatigue on him fairly, re fairly frequently. Um, so all we're doing really is just a little bit of a mobilising um, stretch activation session just to switch them on. We just want to neurally get them fired so they're in the game as it were. Um, he does a lot of sat down driving for long periods of time. So he's probably got lazy glutes, lazy hamstrings, weak condition. Um, so when his load picks up, he plays three or four games um, in a row of, you know, close to 90 minutes. Uh, they fail on him, basically. Um, so they're not failing in regards to tearing or, or any trauma. They just switch off and tighten up. And then that impacts on his uh, movement and his ability to play, basically. Yeah, he's just, I guess you don't really have enough minutes to get rubbed, do you? Nah, that's <laughs> already probably a load of early doors. Yeah, I'll probably let you speak to Matt. Yeah, no, ma massively important. I think from from pre-season, all the stuff, get all the work Givo get done with us, it's sort of completely different to what I've ever done before. Um, so yeah, I felt felt fit coming into the season. Obviously, personally, I probably 
haven't been injured as much as I have in previous years. So yeah, massive, massive positive. Um, yeah, Naif, obviously, Naif's been here for years as well. Um, yeah, he, he's a great asset, obviously, getting rubs free post-game. Uh, again, just all helps towards sort of recovery and getting ready for the next game. So yeah, massive positive. On the bench, he's making sure that you guys are hydrated and stuff as well. Yeah, definitely. I, did, I didn't mean to aim that at you. <laughs> <laughs> even, like, even if you're coming on or you want to prepare yourself right, he's, he's obviously brought in all the little gels, all the little bits like that, even gives sweets out at half-time, so he's doing his job correctly there. But I think it comes down to like Jim and John, I admit it, they're obviously not as educated as them two. And if you've, if you've got a little niggle or something, you can just you pop a message, ask him in person or whatever, and he, he'll give you the answer and give you what you need to do to well get rid of that niggle. But he's probably best to ask about that. Sorry, mate. Oh, these look tight, mate. Yeah, yeah, they do. It's <laughs> so that running you've been doing. Look at that. Look at that. Um, it's going to be three or four seasons, probably. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no money, is there? No money at Farnham, is there? No, no. Yeah, mate, best we can do. No, no. <laughs> Seven day on the team. That's it, yeah. What do you expect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought about five packets this week. Yeah, honestly, honestly. Every time I go to the supermarket, I'm picking up over for open. There you go, mate. Oh, hang on. Oh, these are two hundreds. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, two of those, mate. Yeah. Set pieces on there yet? Yeah. No, your jobs on them. Just looking at their keeper. Whoever's taking them, yeah. Just. No need to like whip, just dink them up, yeah, around, six, around this area, six yard box. Make sure we do not foul him. Yeah, he's, he's about that big. Yeah, no fouls, and we just, he's free, just going to attack the ball. Yeah, flatty just peels off. Yeah, anything over here, it's just a tap in. What JJ's been doing, Rudy really goes short, just pulls one out. I expect us to dominate on these. Yeah, expect us to dominate every time we get one. Yeah, we should be looking to score on these. Out wide, same thing, yeah. In swing, put it on the keeper, set it from the penalty spot, going round, make sure the runs are in line with the back post. One just spins out around the back, anything over here. Yeah, we're going to attack them. In here, make sure we're the best in this box. Yeah, nothing silly. Make sure we're best in both boxes. First, second balls, we're all over it. Set the tempo. Pitch is boggy, yeah, but excellent out there. Yeah, and I expect us to make sure we get the ball up in this half. Yeah, then we dominate the ball in here and we play in here. Yeah, two, three touches. We're nice and lively with Flatty and Rawley in these areas. Uh, Cookie, the market on the ball. Yeah, just give it to them. Keep passing it, keep passing it. Make sure when they come to you, the midfielders, Cookie, the Mar, yeah, they can't get near you. The ball's gone. As soon as they get to you, they're thinking, the ball's gone. Make sure Flatty, Rawley, yeah, don't play outside these lines. Yeah, play inside these lines. Tom and JJ, yeah, that's you. You're the out. And we cause them all sorts of problems in here. Liz is the one that drops in, excellent at doing it, yeah, but at times, yeah, you can do it as well. Yeah, Liz, when you want to breathe her, you get out and do it, and you're the one that plays on the shoulder. Make sure we play as a pair. If it's Liz that's coming in, yeah, I make sure you come over. I know you have a tendency to stay out here, which you like those pockets, but just make sure you come over and play in between the two centre halves. That's it. All about us, isn't it? Yeah, make sure attitude is spot on. They will, they will cause you problems. Yeah, no doubt they'll be 4 3 3. And the two boys up here won't track back. They just stay there. And they'll have a strike up here and two a cheat. And they'll be rag ass rovers, which will be difficult when you give the ball away. Make sure you know off when you give the ball away and you work your bollocks. Yeah, that's the first and foremost. You work your bollocks, your quality shines through, and you have a real good day. Go and enjoy it like the first afternoon. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. A very warm welcome to the Panama Central Station Tournament of Farnham. Hope you're strong at Farnham this afternoon and a safe trip back down the Asian Road from today. Nice hit, Dave! 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 I'm sure, I'm sure. Oh, lucky. Wide! Stay wide, Flay! Oh, yeah, that's the one. No, that's the one! Two forwards here, though. Yeah. Huh? 
We go far, it, it, over the wall. I reckon that Connor for there. That's Second one in. Oh, mate, you've got to go. He's got to put some, tree. He's got to put some pace on it, hasn't he? Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh. Couldn't do much more than that. Oh. Excellent, Smithy, well done! Average. <laughs> yeah, the best part about that free kick is that he's already back in position now. What a chance would I be back in position after hitting a free You'll kick? You'd still be there quick. looking at it, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd be like, oh! <laughs> no chance would I do that. Yeah, it's a good point, actually. Offside anyway, wouldn't it? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm saying, even these balls in here, they seem so delayed. Mm. Out your feet and over here, you know what I mean? But what I'm saying, Riz is dropping too deep, he's coming out well. So then Flatley's making runs forward, but you want him in here. Yeah, he's Yeah. He's got to start getting some cards out, eh? There's a yellow card flat roll, wasn't it? Huh? A yellow card screen. Boy, three go, yeah, after the free kick, three go. Sorry, yeah. Like that's, that's Maldi's had a good start, but like Maldi and Flatty need to play in. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And they but, have to go. Yeah, but well, I think 100% on that, but they've got to play higher, yeah. a lot higher. One of them two has got to be out and out. Yeah. Leeds likes to drop in at the minute. Yeah. He's dropping in, and he's coming wide, and there's no out. Now, Flatty. <laughs> Throws it. Went oh, yeah. all the way through. Yeah. Great reaction from Pat. Left it. Oh. Oh, it's your bag. Uh, lots of tape, a bit of free spray, some um, deep heat. They've got we got plenty of ibuprofen, paracetamol, a few plasters, a, um, an emergency foil cut back, um, blanket, which I hope I've only ever used once, which is um, fantastic. So um, yeah. Yeah, just general bits and pieces, scissors, usual first aid stuff, to be honest with you. It's the magic bag. The magic bag. Yeah, the magic bag has just been held, held together by magic. Well, with the ball, fine, yeah, it, it come and we get about off the ball, yeah, because they're flat free yeah. and they're like, like causing problems in the yeah. pockets. Lids, lids or Owen, chops on the eight, okay. yeah. Flatty or thing you do either side, yeah. yeah, which allows you or Lamar to go free. Owen Dean has to stay high okay. and run in behind. Tell, let, let the fullbacks have it, then we just slide across the pitch. Oh, mate, you land on that, did you? I extended it back as I landed on it. Landed on it and went back. I think I saved it just before it went too far, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can bend it, mate. Yeah. You're fine, yeah, I just need a bit of spray. Landed and then bent it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's impossible. You alright, Z? Yeah, it's like hyper extension when he went down. Mm, that's no good. Seems alright though, he's moving yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, he said he, he felt he kind of saved it a little bit, so. Another injury like that, do we? 
No. Certainly working hard enough for a bottom of the league yeah. team, aren't they? Don't put these bottom though, would you? Make that Tom, make it, make it. Ah, oh, Tom. He's going to get it. Go on, oh, go on, oh. Where are we? Five, six, doing nothing. Yeah, and the two tens are just, they're having to run everywhere. Whilst they're saying go man and man and all that. It's rubbish. Yeah, we've got to let the full backs have it. Right, just change it up for five. Just change it up for five. O come right, Rory go left, plate in hold, lift up top. Yeah. So the eight's your man. Yeah. You got your two, you got your two wide boys there. Yeah? Make sure they track back in, let Rory know. You sit on the one at the top player, yeah? yeah? Don't drop in though, Lidge, yeah? Keep running that line. 4-3-3, three, 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 Jacko, yeah? Let everyone know, so everyone knows what they're doing. What's that? Yeah. I think you had to do it. We had to do that, because Owen's out here anyway. Yeah, and run yeah. ragged in here, just gives a little bit yeah, of consolidating it, yeah. Good Owen, good Owen, much better! Oh. <laughs> Come on, lids. Now. <laughs> he loves teasing a foul, doesn't he? Just gets there with just <laughs> yeah, every time. Come on, Come on, put it in, put it in, put it in. Oh, oh, oh. wow. No, go, go on, on, get in the box, Follow Dino. It. Dino, get in the box. Oh, oh my. What's Dino oh, wow. doing? He's just standing there. Better no, come on, it's better. You're off. Just whip it like as if you're shooting far post and just yeah. get them going across yeah. it, do you know what I mean? Fake it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them drop in. Yeah. Then go and bundle it in. Make sure we get across, Dino! How's he offside? Oh, flagged offside. How's he offside there? It's out here though, isn't it? Look. Yeah. Oh? Yeah. Isn't it? When you come out here, you look at this. Look at yeah, yeah. this surface. Yeah. Hmm. I think we look better balanced though, that, yeah, about that three, do you think? A little bit? Yeah. Seems to be a little bit. Yeah. You're right. You're right, Tom. Nice, yeah. alright, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, if I, if I if drop Dino out, Flatty, yeah. if eight's just it's marking you, yeah. if you pull him out, then it's got to be you, Lids. If, if Flatty, if Flatty's over the other side and he can't get across, and I can come in, but that means the wingers going to have to tuck in and make them runs in behind. Tell us. Yeah. But you don't recognise you, you don't have to tell us, just recognise it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Down the hill, boys, down the hill. Plenty chances. Come on, boys. By the way, I think, I think that corner was in and all. Was it? I, just, I, think, it just I think it went in. Hey, did he flick it past? I don't know. I thought you were just letting yeah, go. No, it go. Yeah. I did think he was going out. No, yeah, sorry about that, son. I was in the dark, so... It's up to set pieces as well, boys. Any knockdown. Shit up. Someone's got a gamble as well. I think it's maybe got to the byline and then he went across the goal and we had three waiting for a cutback. Some, someone, yeah, but someone's like, if we've got four there, you need to just cover the three areas front, front, back, and yeah. cut. Yeah. 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 You just can't all do cutbacks. All, all you've got to think about is just beat the first man. If you beat the first man, then it's, then it's up to us to be in the Hey, yeah, that's what I tried it. Make sure you beat that first man. Hard whips, mate. Don't make just 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, a strange one. Yeah, good start to the game. Then it sort of just went off the boil and it went to. It went. It went to poor. Real bad, you know, just running through us, not getting tight, not talking, not wanting to do the hard work, which we talked about. These places you have to come and f graft. Change of shapes helped. Yeah, we've now got back on top of the game. And it's just about, it's about patience and picking the right moments. Yeah, understanding, understanding Owen Dean's side. Yeah, he's got the beating of him all the time. And that when we double up and we pick up second balls, yeah, can we get it out to Valdi one on one the other side? Yeah, if Owen Dean can't get in, we compete and we win the ball. How quick can we get it to... Rawley, one-on-one -on -one down the outside. But as soon as Rawley gets one-on-one, -on -one, make sure you're on your toes. Yeah, for any any rebounds, tuckings, make sure you get across. But I'm telling you to get across, because you're standing out. Yeah, when the ball's outside, you've got back post. Yeah, every time that ball's out, you've got to be in line with the back post, thinking, can I score? Where can I score from? You're not going to score out there. The ball ain't going to come out there. When he's one-on-one, -on -one, when they got it, that ball's not coming out there. So you've got to make an effort to get in and make sure the shape's right with uh, Cooks and Lamar that you edge of the box, so it allows him to go and do it, so he knows he hasn't got f As soon as he gambles, he's got to run 40 yards back, you can cover his ground. JJ steps in, and like he was, every second ball, it just kept coming back at him, just kept coming back at him. And that's where it's going to be again. Yeah, second half, I think it'll suit us now. Yeah, f having to trundle up that hill. It'll suit us, be brave on the ball, have your touch on the ball, because it's difficult to turn. Yeah, as soon as you have your touch, you sidestep. Yeah, as soon as you sidestep, then that's when you create a 2v1. Make sure whoever's on the ball, there's someone to back it up that can get involved with the play. Yeah, so Cookie can bounce a 1-2 and then slide someone in. Make sure there's two or three around the ball all the time looking for the ball. Lids has to be the one that's up top, yeah. He's going to have to keep run, bending his run, run, looking, running behind. Yeah, if you want to switch up with O at times, yeah, you're thinking I'm not getting much joy, switch up with O, then it'd be O and the one that's running all the time, shoulders, shoulders. And just keep putting that ball in, first 10-15, Get it out of your feet, put that ball in, compete, compete, compete. Yeah, kill them. They've worked hard. Yeah, they've worked hard. We've had to graft a little bit as well. Yeah, first time, a bit of a challenge in terms of shape and whatnot. Yeah, and we didn't deal with it great, but we've changed and we look comfortable. Yeah, make sure we're on it. There's no gimmies. There's no gimmies. Yeah, they're fighting for the last and they run around. You get the next goal, yeah, you've got to go again real quick and get the next goal. Then it's a free throw. Yeah, then it's a free fall. You don't get the next goal. They will just keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. Yeah, got it? Yeah. Wait, bar in the middle bit, yeah, the rest of it got better on the difficult conditions. I understand it's difficult out there. Yeah, make sure we just play the conditions right and we get numbers in the box and we finish these chances. Yeah. Come, boys. Come on, come on. Come on. Big job for you up there, isn't it? Because you're sort of isolated at times, yeah, isn't it? I don't mind, I don't mind keeping occupied. Yeah. The wingers have enjoyed Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. But at times, if you feel as though you want to drop a little bit, speak to him and he, you can always... Uh, yeah, yeah. Flatty, no, no, I mean, you can always, no, after, after certain times, you can also swap with him if you want at yeah. times. If, if he drops in, he wants to drop in. No, not all the time, yeah. obviously, you... Might you'd be, be you, though. Might be fingers. Yeah. Come in and make but but feel free to identify it and just swap over. Right, mate? Okay. Just go like that. Like, there was only one in there, so yeah. I think we had... If, if you could, though, Rolly, just like, stay on your feet. Need longer stuff to make that. Yeah, sure. Rolly, I need your f***ing jinky and jive in it, you know, do your stuff. Jinky, my jinky. Drop the shit on that. You've got to be in the I've seen you make the side take and win a head with one half. I know. Off the old swazzle. Bring back the old Rolly. Off the middle. Off the jinky. No. You're not, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Load up, no, it's fine, it's Oh, come on, come on. Come on, lads. Come on, come on. First 10 15 First said, stick happened. it in it. They're going to be lively again. Going to have to wear it. Give me the ball. If in that, give me the ball. 
Yeah. Yeah. Got, uh, when he goes to go tighten me, I can smell it. Yeah. Alright, come on me chavs. So now it's been half time. Yeah. What's kind of your your assessment? Like, did you have to look at anyone? Or? No, no one today. Normally, if Daz is playing, he'll get on for a rub. But no, I asked Smith. He seemed fine. Um, kind of voiced us my ibuprofen. Standard. So that's about it. Kevin yeah. would have done his bit. So yeah, all subs are warm, ready to go, activated. We'll see what the second half brings, eh? Go, yeah, go go back. Um, might just go in there and pick up. See. Might have job picking up. Yeah, see what's around you. Attacking, go on back post and just peel off. Yeah. Come come here. Baldy goes in one. Yeah, come on, let's go. Oh! Jackson! Wind's picked that up, innit? No, no, yes, please. Let's go, let's go. Come back, let's go. Baldy, go and play him one. Yeah. Come on, play. JJ, come in with Cooks. <coughs> Is he coming for flag? Yeah. Wait, straight into it. Come on, pick it up. Well done, mate. Thank you, you too. Come on, mate. Yeah. Come on, hold on, mate. Play, play, boy. You do front right! Go closer, boy! Rip it! Go closer! Oh. I like to see that sort of drop just after the near post, yeah. for you? It seems to be coming right yeah. at the back. Huh? Why are we fanning the goal? I know, don't need to. Just stand in front of him. Ben. Oh, unlucky! Oh, right, better! Well done! All round, well done! It's coming in it. Yeah, do you, do you keep do you keep lids on, Charlie? Ball for Charlie with the crosses coming in. Yeah, it? and drop lids in one. Or oh. what for Rowley? Yeah. Difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, Paul. Paul. So Charlie up there. But then do you drop lids in as the 10? But Rudy's quite doing quite well, isn't he? Yeah. Huh? This, is, this is what he's good at in here, isn't he? Yeah. I'm not sure whether lids will be that like as that. composed as that. No. <coughs> Get hold of it. So he's got the half turn all the time on the half turn. Second touch needed to be in that box, Sorry. didn't it? Yeah. Straight back in. Back post, back post if we can. Kai out on the right. Yeah. Kai out on the right, Charlie up top. 
Yeah. Rolled in, rolled in, Dino. Yeah. Yeah. Are <laughs> no, you sure? Hey, cut the sprint, ready to go, yeah? Let's go. Just seems one of them bows, doesn't it? Everything's done. Cover, Rooley! Good shot, Good shot! Face the ball, JJ! Go and get in the box, JJ. Get in the box. Stop shooting. Fuck it, man. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Kai. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Let's go. Come on, sir. Come on. Go on. Come on. Go 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 Telling that in for the what? Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on. Let it cook in! Good! 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 Come on! Good! 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 Was Sorry, Jono. That's all right. Yeah. Right. Good chance, good on, chance, good boy, chance. Well work. Two. Good guy. Yes, it's in. Oh, oh no. Way. no way. Oh, oh hell. hell. <laughs> right, you put it in there. Let's go! Head down! Head down, Lynch! Well done! Good! Good! Smithy! On the walk, mate! On the walk! And when a hero comes along We the strength Ryan! Put it in the fucking back of the net, will ya? Are you playing now, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Back in. Don't mind that. Great technique, Joseph. Can you get something? Can you get something? Smithy's the out! Nice goal. Oh, wow. Smith! Send off penalty! Lovely. Lono, you're giving us a penalty. I'm not seeing that. Look, what pen? Take him out. I can hear his back heels. I can hear his back heels clip. I don't know whether that shows the balance or what. Nice and high, mate. Nice and high. Nice and high. Nice and Guys, well played, really well played. Excellent chat, well done. Excellent, mate. Excellent, mate. Excellent chat, well done, mate. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. What's that celebration? What? Cold Palmer, isn't it? You haven't seen the Cold Palmer? That one? Oh my god. Security's there, mate. Fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Oh, 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 o
Yeah. Than three in the space of one minute. Oh, yeah, that's not my job, though, mate. <laughs> we don't, that don't pay the bills. All the best, mate. Back the turkey after that one, boys. Cheers. <laughs> hey, it's one of them, innit? Yeah, the standards have to stay high, yeah, because you want to keep winning, winning, winning style. But sometimes it don't go your way, and there's a different side today. And I liked it today, yeah, because there's a bit of an edge to it, which we ain't had for a long time. But you found a way to win, right? That's a f good skill set to have in your f armor. Yes, yeah, so well done on that. We tick this one off, and we move on to the next one. Well done. Well done, boys. What happens now? So the players that haven't played um, more than 45 minutes will basically do some top-ups. Hold on, I'm telling the boys what you do. Wander up to the edge of the box, boys. I basically have 11 seconds to do box to box. Go! Nah, oh, from the box. Yeah. Cut that out, cut that out. Just because the out. camera's there, you know what I mean? Boy, the camera's got to you, Gibbs. You know why you all went to there? The camera's got to you. 11 seconds, go! Yeah, so basically, depending on how long they've played, they do these just to top up, to stay live, and so that they don't get unexposed to football, so they can stay sharp, basically. And, you know, reduce the potential for injury and so on and so forth. Only playing half an hour a week, you know, fitness levels will drop. Go! Now the match is finished. Yeah. What, what does that mean for you? Do you give any rubs or do you just get off? No, we don't tend to. I mean, um, it'd be beneficial to do, but they, uh, the boys tend to want to get changed now and mm. go get in a pub or get in a bar and get something to eat. But um, no, if someone needed it or someone <coughs> had an injury, then we, <coughs> excuse me, we would look at it. Um, but no, unless unless someone asks, that's pretty much it now. That's I can. Nice, and um, that's it. Clock off. But what we would do is, if anybody, you know, had picked up a knock or anything like that, we'd we'd contact them during the week, see how they're doing. Um, if like Daz, they can't make it, they'll come down. Or if they're struggling or they're fifty-fifty, they'll come down early on a, on a Tuesday if we had a game. Uh, they'd see me or give and and. Um, yeah, yeah, we take them there, see if, assess them, see if they could start on the bench or not play at all. So, uh, Paul, it, you know, it wasn't vintage today, but the result was there in the end. It took right until sort of the last embers of the game uh, for us to take the lead. Uh, how were you feeling towards the end there? Um, yeah, we ain't had that feeling for a while um, in the league. Um, yeah, it was, a good, it was a good game. It was a, a difficult pitch, difficult, um, heavy pitch rather. Um, I thought it was it was a good contest. I thought uh, Colliers would done well um, in large parts of the game. I thought we started. I thought we started really well. We looked comfortable, and then um, I think Owen should have put us one up. Uh, Rawley had a little chance, so he slipped over. And then after that, we sort of went backwards, and I think uh, Claudia has dominated the rest of the half. And they just said to just keep running for us time after time. So we had a little change up, and uh, we got back control of the game without really creating anything today. And then second half, yeah, we come out and we dominated the second half pretty much. You know. For 45 minutes of played in their half um, without us really causing them many problems. I they defended really well. Um, goalkeeper was good for them today, what, what he had to do. And yeah, like you say, it, it was at the end of the game. Um, subs come on and you know made that impact and the goal come at the right time. Yeah, and, and Harry Cooksey is the guy that got the goal. He's, he's come up with a lot of important goals for us this season. Um, how, how good is it to have a player like that in, in midfield that can come up with moments? Yeah, well, you know, that's why, that's why we brought him in at the start of the season. That's where, the, you know, the seven grand a week goes on, you know, quickly. So, um, you know, the others play for nothing. So, yeah, the ones that are judging the budget, yeah, yeah. that's where it is. That's what you pay for. Yeah, well, the um, <coughs> the unbeaten run goes on. Um, no Tuesday game coming up now, which is a bit of a nice rest to have for the guys. But we've got a you know, big derby game next weekend at home to Fleet. Um, they'll be up for that one. They gave us a real good test at their place earlier on in the season. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, we've got, we've got a good month coming up, you know, we've got all the, all the big boys in the league. Um, yeah, so we've relished the challenge and uh, yeah, it looks put another three points out there. Well, another three points today, well done and uh, we'll go again next week. Cheers, nice one. So Farnham not at their best today, but they still got the three points. Uh, one nil win, you know, sort of felt reminiscent of last season. Um, but the boys put in a shift, they kept going, they got the three points. 23 games, one in a row. Tune in next week for hopefully another win.